This is an iPad 4 backlight filter replacement. Where is it at? Okay, here it is. So this is L2200. Test it with a multimeter for continuity. I've already had some flux on it, but you can test it here. And there's no continuity. It should beep. No beep. So we're going to replace it. Actually, I'll test this one too. This one, this is the other backlight filter. And as you can hear it, it beeps. This one doesn't beep, so we're going to replace one of them. Got my hot tweezers, FM2023 mini parallel remover, that's a hacko, and I uh, have my temperature set to 375. Just put a little flux on it, and that's it, boom. Is done. Pause it real quick. Hold on a second. All right. Now I'm gonna clean it up with um some sixty three thirty seven solder. This is leaded solder. Tin lead. I'll just make it flow a little easier getting it back on. Clean and tin. Pretty simple. There you go. Don't really have to do a whole lot here. Got a little bit of extra. Okay. All good there. Clean it up with the Q tip and some chem wipes. 99% isopropyl alcohol. Looks pretty good. Let me pause it and grab a filter now. Alright, I have my part here. I get them all from, well, not all of them. I use donor boards as well, but a lot of them are from DigiKey. So this one's a. Uh, looking at the schematic, it's a 240 ohm inductor at uh, rated at 300 milliamps, and it's a 0402 package. And that's the size. Alright, so peel it off here. Alright. Let me put a little flux on here. And back on. Mm, hot tweezers.
All right, we're good to go. Solid. Clean it up again. That's All right, we're good to go. That's it.